First, through updating the National Fixed Asset Register, the completion of the state-owned enterprises reform process, and the implementation and seeding of the Sovereign Wealth Fund to better steward our natural and public resources. Thank you. After identifying these assets, the second goal of economic advancement pillar requires us to improve the productive yield of identified assets, including green scheme and a net, net, nectar, nectar dam, which apparently my brother there was a governor and played a role in, which look at enhance when he was a swap governor, which look to enhance the productive yield of our agricultural assets. A well-defined partnership between public and private sector is essential to fully, uh, fully unleash our country's potential. The public-private partnership framework will be a key instrument for creating more than 40,000 jobs. The president says this is to prepare for projects in excess of $27 billion. Our economic recovery program is grounded in job creation as paramount to inclusive growth. To project jobs, I will establish a business rescue task force. We have a mandate to review our insolvency legislation and infuse the concept of business rescue into the legal frameworks with a view to mitigate the number of firms that face liquidation during these trying times. This task force will be commissioned during May 2021 and must complete its mandate by end of October 2021. To further strengthen employment creation, work has commenced to consolidate a plethora of funding instruments currently under the SME financing strategy at the Development Bank of Namibia into a national SME fund that will deliver blended financing to entrepreneurial startups and SMEs. Over the preceding year, government spent about $6 billion on interventions for the most vulnerable Namibians to stave off hunger and the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. $3 billion went to old age social grants. The food bank was allocated $70 million. The disability grant, $546 million. And veterans, $766 million. Allocation for the marginalized was set at $45 million. Funeral benefits, another $45 million. Orphans and vulnerable children, one billion, and the school feeding program was given $73 million. The president further confirmed that through AgriBank, government extended loans to farmers at a total value of around $200 million. The newly launched loan scheme for women and youth will further promote financial inclusion, economic empowerment and employment creation opportunities for our young people. To date, 116 beneficiaries have obtained non-collateral non -collateralized loans totaling 15.6 million Namibian dollars from the Agri Bank. The outbreak of African migratory red locusts in February 2020 in Zambezi region and subsequently in Kabango East and West, Oshikoto, and Toronjuba regions could threaten the expected bamba harvest for this year. The government has deployed spraying teams, vehicles, and an aircraft for the aerial spraying to contain the outbreak. 